what's up youtube hey hey what's poppin youtube hey hey millie rock youtube hey hey what's up what's poppin what's up what's poppin what's up what's poppin millie rockin i'm playing but anyway so it's like 2018 and i feel like it's the hardest thing to do right now is to date the hard, I feel like the hardest thing in the world to do in 2018 is the it's not get a job, it's not getting your money, mind your goals right because you know when you mentally right, you mentally right. But I feel like dating in these years is like the worst thing possible. Like I feel like nobody takes you serious. Everybody think that everybody holds no one trusts no one. It's just a big mess. Like, oh, well, I just got out of a relationship, so I don't trust people. She cheated on me. Sir, am I her? I swear, I, my name was Malika, and she was Keisha, Shanice, Lisa. I don't know who her name is. I'm just saying. I'm me. Lisa is Lisa, period. Ch Ch Shanice is Shanice, period. Don't compare me to them. I ain't do nothing to you. I feel as though if you not mentally out of your last relationship, you shouldn't be trying to talk to other people. Period. That's just not how that works. In the words of my friend, Shay, keep it on the playground. Keep it on the playground. Okay. <laughs> you want to confuse everybody. Y'all both going to be all messed up mentally. Now everybody confused and messed up. And it's all because you want to be a dickhead and jump from relationship to relationship. Step and healing yourself and getting over all that hurt. Keisha, Shanice and them calls you. Now you want to bring it to me. No. Mm -mm. I'm good, love. Enjoy. Just like everybody been saying all year, I'm good, love, enjoy. I feel just like that because please don't bring the hurt to me. Like, I don't, I really don't feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, who feels like that? Like, it's like, name the five, the five things for me that I feel like guys just, well, not, I'm sorry, not just guys, but people do. That's annoying. In relationships, it's like, well, I can't open up because such and such did this thing. That that's one. We're not doing it. That's keep it on the playground. It's annoying. That's that's major trust issues. Two is not communicating. So if we can't communicate and talk about what happened, who hurt who, or why, or are you feeling this way, whatever the case may be. Then how in the fajizis my neezy or the hell? How are we gonna get past stage one if we can't communicate? Something simple, like niggas some something simple as a text message. One measly freaking text message is a whole ten essay paragraph on why they couldn't text you. But instead of them just saying, hey, what's up? If you text them like, I ain't hear from you a while, it's going to be a 10 page paragraph, a 10 page essay on why they couldn't text you or they felt the need not to text you. No, we're not doing that, sir. That's what we're not going to do. We can alt delete this whole thing, but we're not about to do that. If you could sit here and wrote this 10 paragraph, a 10 page essay about you not texting me, then why can't you just say what's up? Keep it on the playground. Three, I hate when people say they don't have time. What do you mean don't have time? Oh, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. First of all, you make time for what you wanna make time for, period. Keep it on the playground. So, stop with all them lame excuses that you don't have time. 
So if you don't have time for me in the beginning stages and we just talking, texting, we not even we didn't even get there to get on a get to a date, even though we'll get to that next. We didn't even get there to get a get a date and I don't even know enough about you. Why? Why, why are we doing this? Like we, whatever. Four, this generation, if I hear another guy say they don't go on dates. Excuse me? Keep it on the playground. Excuse me? Keep it on the playground. <laughs> you don't go on dates. What are you talking about you don't go on dates? Like, what? Huh? How you, so you think I'm about to Netflix and chill with you, nigga? No, not happening. Sorry. I'm not Netflix and chilling with nobody. If you're not my man, and we have not been together, I'm not Netflix and chilling with you, period. Don't even approach me by PC. If he trying to Netflix and chill tonight, peace. That's... <laughs> If he's trying to Netflix and chill tonight, peace. <laughs> Move all 2018, 2019, 20, 21, 22, 23. I don't have time for that. Don't talk, talk about you on the Netflix and chill. What are you talking about? What? What are we talking about? What's that? How you do that? What? How, how you do that? How you Netflix and chill? Like, don't, please don't. I just don't do that. Like, if you broke, Find a way to take me out. Don't, don't, I'm not saying you gotta spend your money, but I will say this I'm not sitting in your crib. I'm not. You better find a way, you better walk around some parks or some shit. I don't know what to tell you. Better be creative. Think outside the box, because I'm not Netflix and chilling. No, I'm cool. Nope. I'm good. You better set up a picnic. Period. So, some Netflix. Set up a picnic. If you like me that much, do something creative. And if you don't, peace. <laughs> Cause I don't got time. I don't, I don't got the time for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm too over that. Number five. The one thing that I don't like is I'm 28. Okay, I'm pretty sure a lot of guys my age have kids. It's 2018. But if you're gonna have kids and I have zero, none, da da zip, none, your personality gotta be A1. And these men personalities are trash. When I tell you they feel entitled, I don't know if it's just Philly guy thing, but they feel entitled. They want compliments. Uh, my best friend told me when we was out the other day, this guy walked up to her and gave her compliments. He was just saying how she pretty she is, how she look good, how she this, that, and third. And guess what she told me? She said, this man looked at her and said, ain't you going to compliment me? Keep it on the playground. <laughs> if you don't sit your ass down somewhere, sir, what are you talking about compliment you? I didn't approach you. I didn't come to get your number. What are we doing? What are we not doing? Because I'm not doing, we're not doing that. That's what we're not. I'm not about to sit here and compliment you with the you can't approach me. No. No, 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 no way. No way. I'm not doing it. Period. That's weird. You're weird. You're weird. Mm -mm. But anyway, based on what I'm talking about, you gonna have kids? You? Your personality got to be A1 for me to be interested. Because I don't want to hear about your kids doing this. I don't want to hear about... Not, I don't want to hear about your kids. That was the wrong way to word it. I don't want to hear you got kids and then you're boring. Like, I don't have no kids. So why would I... Why should I talk to you and you got kids? And please say, stop it with all that. I'm going to change your life. I mean, you boring. You can't even text me once a day. Shut up. Shut, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You can't even text me once a day. You talk about you going to change my life. How? How?
Houseway, how you gonna change my life? What you gonna do to change my life? <laughs> what you gonna me to be a third baby mom? Sit down. You gonna change my life for the worse? Keep it on the playground. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Wait. Like, comment, subscribe. Wait. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey, hey, hey. Get jiggy with it. Get messy with it. Get jiggy with it. Hey, hey. Get messy with it. Get jiggy with it. <laughs> I'm playing. Peace. <laughs>